Hi, I'm Yvette Ponce from Lakeview High School. And I'm Connor McLaughlin from Central High School. Welcome to our special holiday episode of SAISD News. With the Christmas season upon us, schools at SAISD have really been getting into the holiday spirit. We start off at Central High School where students decorated gingerbread houses for local nursing homes. Culinary arts students were asked to create gingerbread houses for the Christian Village Retirement Center to be used as table decorations at a dinner they were having. Students came up with their own ideas and designs for their houses. They had to, uh, you know, come together as a team uh, because it's usually two to three kids uh, working together uh, to come together for that idea. And then they had to actually work together. And it was re it's really fun to watch them work together. And it takes a lot of patience. They had to kind of come up with a plan and let me know and to tell me what candies they thought would look great or graham crackers or different things that they would need. And so we made a list and so then when it all came in and they got their houses to stand up, that was the hardest part, is getting those houses to stand. And so once they were stand and solid, then they could begin decorating. So it's really a, it's like a three week process. Students at San Jacinto Elementary got into the Christmas spirit with several fun holiday activities. Fourth graders in Miss Price's class rotated through several different stations where they completed fun Christmas craft projects that helped to reinforce skills they had learned in class. Activities such as making Christmas ornaments and writing concrete poetry required the students to follow procedures, use critical thinking skills, and express themselves through writing. They love it. Um, hands on, it seems like they, they grasp it a lot quicker than they would if it was just a worksheet, you know, and, and on their own. When they're able to do this, they're able to talk with their peers and bounce ideas off of each other and, and grow those ideas. So they, they love it and it just sticks with them. So. Students at Rio Vista Head Start also completed Christmas craft projects in a fun parent involvement activity called Deco with Dads. Students and parents worked together to decorate Christmas ornaments and decorations to use around the Head Start Center. Some of the projects included creating a Santa Claus face, Christmas lights, gingerbread houses, snowflakes, and stockings. Center Director Stephanie Hernandez said that parent involvement activities like this are a very important part of the Head Start program. And We actually do parent involvement at least once a month. Um, we try to promote mo mostly our father involvement. Um, as you're aware, you know, the importance of fathers is really high, um, especially with our Head Start program. Um, we also do other activities throughout the month. We do Read With Me, where we encourage the parents to come and sit down and read with the children in the child's classroom. Um, this promotes, again, parent involvement. It also promotes the literacy and it promotes um, reading with the child. And um, if we can get them to do it here at school, hopefully they'll go home and do it with their child. We always tell our parents when we promote this how exciting it is for the kids. When they see their mom and dad come pick them up from their classroom, bring them over here to do something with them, it just makes their day. Um, afterwards, they're like talking about it with the other kids in the classroom. If they take their activity back to their room, they're showing it off. I mean, you just really see the difference in their eyes and in their faces throughout the whole day. We end this week at Bel Air Elementary where students completed different activities based on the book The Polar Express. After reading the book to their classes, each second grade teacher hosted a different station. Students completed activities such as making a train, playing Polar Express Jeopardy, and writing about what they wanted for Christmas. Ms. Purcell explained how they incorporated learning into these fun activities. In one station they're doing um, a Jeopardy game which they are playing the game and then they use their whiteboards to answer the questions and um, the questions are based on the story so then they have to listen make sure that they listen to the story so there's comprehension there. In the writing station the teacher is having them think about the first gift of Christmas and you know in the story they give the first gift of Christmas and so they pick the little boy and he chooses a bell. So she had them think about what the first gift of Christmas would be and then they have to write about what it would be and then they're going to have to go back and look to make sure that they used proper punctuation, proper capitalization, making sure they have a subject verb agreement and their sentences are making sense as they're writing the story and then at the end Santa Claus brings them a, a bell of their, of their choosing. In the train station they are actually building trains to look like, um, like kind of like gingerbread houses, but it's a train. I had them visualize what a train would look like in their mind, and then after they visualized what the train would look like, then they 
created their train and they had to problem solve to figure out this would go here or this can't go here. Is it going to look good this way? Is it going to work this way? I need to have how many cookies to make the train? I need to have how many graham crackers to make whatever. And that concludes our holiday edition of SEISD News. We'll see you back here after the Christmas break. Students will return from the holidays on Monday, January 7th. Until then, we wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Bye! Bye.